This is a perfect example of just because a study is published does not mean that it actually contributes to any sort of scientific understanding. And the big issue is this is a person at the upper echelon of education who's flat out promoting misleading information and quite frankly lying. Before we even get into this, I'm sorry, but a study that was published four and a half years ago is not new. And by this claims, it would appear that you build significantly more muscle eating carbs versus not eating carbs. Except for the fact that here we go again, conflating the terms muscle mass and lean mass, which are most certainly not interchangeable terms. In fact, it's used twice here in muscle growth and lean muscle mass, nowhere of which this shows up within the study because they didn't test for that. That's strike one. Strike two, what they did use to test was a biological impedance analyzer, which is not the gold standard when it comes to lean mass and fat mass. Because guess what? Water is included in lean mass. And strike three, this four times greater muscle growth was the difference between 1.2 pounds and 4.9 pounds. 3.7 pounds, of which we don't even know if it's muscle or not, yet it's being touted as four times muscle growth. This is why most science is and why education does not equal intelligence.